Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, lived an old evil witch named Morgana. She was feared by all for her wicked spells and mischievous deeds. One day, a brave and kind-hearted hunter named Oliver arrived in the village. Determined to rid the town of Morgana's dark influence, he set out on a quest armed with a magical bow and arrow. Morgana, sensing the threat, concocted potions and cast spells to stop Oliver. But the young hunter, with a heart full of goodness, persevered. Along the way, he encountered talking animals and enchanted forests that tested his bravery. With each challenge, Oliver grew stronger and wiser. As the final showdown approached, Morgana unleashed her most powerful spell, summoning a fierce storm. Undeterred, Oliver aimed his magical arrow at the heart of the tempest. With a swift and true shot, he dispersed the dark clouds, revealing the once hidden sun. The villagers rejoiced, and Morgana, touched by the light Oliver brought, felt a change within herself. The goodness in Oliver's heart had broken the evil spell that had consumed her. Grateful for the hunter's kindness, Morgana joined the villagers in rebuilding their community. All right, let's jump into the magical kingdom of transforming words into moving pictures. But before we dive into this video, I want you to do me a little favor. Support this channel by giving this video a like. That's certainly your way of encouraging me to keep making videos of this kind. For this video, we're going to generate our story using ChatGPT. So just go to chat.openai.com and open an account if you don't already have one. Creating an account in ChatGPT is very simple and basic. So this will not take you a lot of time. Once you log in onto your account, you will need to come down here to write a prompt for ChatGPT to generate a case story for you. So here we'll type in write me a case story of an old evil witch and a good hunter in about 200 ways. So once you are done with the prompt, click here to generate the story. So ChatGPT will take some time to generate an interesting story for you. So now that we have our story, we need some prompt to make our story more captivating. So we will again use ChatGPT to generate our prompt. Come and type in here, write the mid-journey prompt to generate images for every sentence of this story. So once you finish writing, I will come and click here. And as you can see, ChatGPT is writing us some prompts for our images. But because we want to get hyper-realistic images, we need to go further by adding some secret prompts that will give us the details we are looking for. This will make our images look more appealing. I will show you how to achieve that in a bit. So I encourage you to keep watching this video till the end. So once we have generated our story and the prompt to our images, the first step is completed. And now that our first step is completed, we'll move to our second step. And in this step, we are going to create voiceover for our story. And you can basically use your own voice for the voiceover. However, if you want to use AI for the voiceover, you are free to do so. But for me, I'm going to use 11 Labs to generate my voiceover. 11 Labs is an AI text-to-speech company that does a very good job in converting text to voiceovers. I personally like it because it's easy to use. It has a lot of voices to choose from. There are other voiceover website that does exactly what 11 lab does but i prefer 11 labs you can also use any text to speech ai tool you want so here we need to paste our script from chat gpt then you click on generate and it will be generated within some seconds okay so once it's done we can listen to the voice by clicking on this play button once upon a time in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills lived an old evil witch named Morgana. She was feared by all for her wicked spells and mischievous deeds. One day, a brave and kind-hearted hunter named Oliver arrived in the village. Determined to rid the town of Morgana's dark influence, he set out on a quest armed with a magical bow and arrow. And once you are done with your voiceover, you will come down here to download it. And then I'm going to repeat this step for the rest of the paragraphs of the story. And once you are done with your voiceover, it's time to get to step three. Done with the voiceover, the next step is to generate images for our story using AI. I'm going to use Leonardo.ai. You can use any AI image generator of your choice. With Leonardo.ai, you have a maximum of 153 credits to use and once you are satisfied with the ai tool and you want more credit that is where you would have to upgrade your account again at this step feel free to use any ai image generation tool of your choice so once you are logged into leonardo.ai come and click on ai image generation 
So once you get to this interface, come and type on this prompt bar here, slash imagine. Then you copy the prompts from chat GPT. So once you copy the prompt, you come and paste it here. Now, this is where we'd have to add the secret prompt I mentioned earlier in this video. But before we unravel the secret, do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. You wouldn't want to miss our next video, especially if it's an AI teaching us how to make some dance moves. So once you paste it, you come and type the secret prompt here. Hyper realistic, 8K, Ultra HD. Pixar AR style, Disney style, Cinema 4D, AR 3 column 2, then you hit generate. And Leonardo.ai will generate beautiful images for you. I will leave in this secret prompt in the description of this video. So generate the rest of the images for your story in Leonardo.ai or in any AI image generation tool of your choice. After we have finished generating our images, we would have to download all of them. And after we have finished downloading our images, we would have to convert our images to video, just like you see on the screen. Now to generate our image into video, we will need to use an AI tool called Runway and if you don't have an account with it, you would have to sign up for free. So with this particular AI tool, you can convert text to image. So I just go to chat GPT and copy one of the prompts and come and paste. Once you paste it, then you come and click on generate. You just wait for a while for the text to be converted to image. This is just an experiment to see how effective the text to image is. So once it's finished generating, you can play the video to see how it looks like. So for me, the quality is not that great, but if you are okay with it, that's fine. So you can go ahead to download this video by clicking the top here. Now I'm going to show you how to use the image to video option. So you just come and click on this start with image button here. Then the next thing you'll have to do is to upload a file. So I just come and click here, upload a file. Then I will navigate to the images we generated with Leonardo.ai. So I just select one and open. So after the image has been uploaded, you just come and click on the generate button. And finally, you can see the results for yourself. The video quality is top notch. So I would highly recommend you use the image to video option to get the best of results. So at this point, you will have to download the video by clicking on the download button here. And then repeat this same step for the rest of the images. Now it is time to edit our videos and a much more effective yet free and easy to use software I will recommend is CapCut. CapCut is a free video editing software that you can use both on your Windows and Mac. So once you open up CapCut, you would have to create a new project. So import all the generated videos onto CapCut, not forgetting the voiceovers and also the music you would want to use. If you are wondering where you can get music, the YouTube audio library has a lot of free music you can use. So you drop all the generated videos and come and place on the timeline. Then the next thing is you bring your voice overs and come and place them where you want them to be below the video. This might require a lot more time as you'll be taking your time to arrange the videos and even the voice overs to align to the specific places you want them. And once you are done with all these things and you place your background music, you would want to put in some transitions on the video. For me, I'll use the basic transition that are on CapCut. And once you are done with all these things, for me, I would like to put on some mini star effects. The mini star effects makes the video look so real and unique. To make your video stand out, you can add subtitles. So just come and click on text and then come and click on photo captions. Then you click on create. Now let's check out the video we just created. Once upon a time in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, lived an old evil witch named Morgana. She was feared by all for her wicked spells and mischievous deeds. One day, a brave and kind-hearted hunter named Oliver arrived in the village. Determined to rid the town of Morgana's dark influence, he set out on a quest armed with a magical bow and arrow. Morgana, sensing the threat, concocted potions and cast spells to stop Oliver. But the young hunter, with a heart full of goodness, persevered. Along the way, he encountered talking animals and enchanted forests that tested his bravery. With each challenge, Oliver grew stronger and wiser. As the final showdown approached, Morgana unleashed her most powerful spell, summoning a fierce storm. Undeterred, Oliver aimed his magical arrow at the heart of the tempest. With a swift and true shot, 
He dispersed the dark clouds, revealing the once hidden sun. The villagers rejoiced, and Morgana, touched by the light Oliver brought, felt a change within herself. The goodness in Oliver's heart had broken the evil spell that had consumed her. Grateful for the hunter's kindness, Morgana joined the villagers in rebuilding their community. So once you are done, you just come and click on export to export to the final video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you have subscribed, leave a comment in the comment section saying you have subscribed. And I will reply you with a special message welcoming you to our amazing community of subscribers. All right, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section if you are having challenges. And I will definitely make sure to reply you.